As researchers in primary care attending this conference, I know that you're interested in helping to improve the health of America. This could be one of the most important things that you see during this conference. Hi, I'm Nancy Morioka Douglas. I'm a clinical professor at Stanford Family Medicine. Hi, I'm BJ Falk. I'm a behavior scientist at Stanford University. Hi, I'm Dolores Gallagher Thompson, and I'm an emeritus professor in the Department of Psychiatry at Stanford. In this time of pandemic, I've been very concerned by the epidemic of depression among older adults. Many individuals believe that depression is a normal part of aging, but it is not. It is a clinical condition and it should be treated. Elderly people often do not have any access to healthcare providers who are specialists in mental health. Depressed older people often have a hard time getting out of their house. So coming to face-to-face -to -face appointments can be really challenging. It's really been a challenge to find what would be some appropriate and effective intervention. We're trying to help older adults deal with depression without having to take medication. One of the frameworks we're working from is behavioral activation, and that includes helping these older adults find activities that they once enjoyed in their life, and then bringing those activities back and doing it on a regular basis every day. In this approach, we try to help our patients understand the link between what they do and how they feel. Mood is not out of their control. It's something that they can work on. Another method we're bringing into this is the tiny habits method. In the tiny habits approach, what we're doing is having the patient anchor their positive activity to something that they already do. The unique feature of this is that we have written a script combining behavioral activation with tiny habits, putting it together on Zoom, easily accessible to primary care providers without extensive background. This is huge. This means that it's scalable and it's reproducible. I think it's going to be a very, very useful model for many of you. I think it has great promise for engaging more older people. It will save the country a lot of money and improve the quality of life for older Americans. After the first couple of sessions of this new model, we're finding that the elderly can get onto Zoom and interact. If you want to know more about what we've learned or collaborate with us, please get in touch with Nancy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.